Welcome back to Put On A Crossover. This segment, it's what's up in the NBA? What are some current issues that are happening? And we're gonna pass it on to Marky Mark, the resident expert. What's up in the NBA, Mark? All right, let's go, let's go straight up to the team that's hot right now in the NBA, mm -hmm. the Houston Rockets. What are your thoughts about them? Do they have a legitimate chance of coming out of the West? Let's go with Zach. I, I know you're a big... Uh, you have I a think they can be Golden this. State. I think Golden State that has no chance with Rockets. All right, how about you, Zach? What do you think? I, I just think that Rockets are going to do good now in the preseason. They have a good record for the preseason, but they're not going to do well in the, in the playoffs. Oh, the Warriors, the Warriors, we got gonna, two different views about Warriors it. Warriors are so going to take it all. You're going to take it all? What do, you think, what do you think Houston have a chance right now? What, what's, your, what's your take on this? I think, I think James Harden's MVP candidate. I'm going to put that there. James Harden yeah. over LeBron. I'm saying James Harden's got, got snubbed a couple of years. I'm saying he's playing amazing basketball. Chris Paul with Chris Paul, the dangerous duo. They're undefeated. So unless Chris Paul gets injured against um, Golden State, I'm saying the dangerous duo of Harden and Chris Paul will do damage. Yes, Golden State has a good defense, but I feel like they're just going to... They have the best... Like, it's going to be guns versus guns, offense versus offense. And I think at the end of the day, James Harden is just... That beard is too savage. Do you feel know. like James Harden is a clear-cut MVP, uh, MVP candidate, or is there... He's good. Yeah. I think he... He shouldn't be first rank. He's not better than LeBron over LeBron, no? Stat-wise? Yeah, think stat, like... I, I look at more stats. LeBron has averaged more defensive, more defensive. Mm. I know that. Okay. Wait, there's not, I don't, like I said before, there's not a lot of memes with Harden slacking on defense this year. So no, I no, feel no. like he's getting better defensively. Well, it's yeah. basically a four on two, two all stars versus four all stars. So that's true. We yeah. have a two, two all star advantage. It also depends, like, how, like, I remember people say that MVP is like, it's the narrative around narrative. it, too. Exactly. What's the stronger narrative? So James Harden has been snubbed a lot. Yeah. But also LeBron it's has been snubbed for LeBron like, has been snubbed a <laughs> like, lot. Like a lot of time. People have been saying he should have won it against uh, when Derrick Rose had the MVP mm -hmm. or one of Curry's as well. Or one Durant's only MVP, he should have won it too. Mm -hmm. So that's it's maybe it's time to appreciate LeBron, I can see that. But it's also maybe time to appreciate Harden because he's putting up godly numbers. Amazing so numbers. My take is it's also this like, you know, it's saying that there's a possibility that if this doesn't work for the Cleveland Cavaliers or the Don't Houston say Rockets, it, I know what you're gonna say. You're this, fan? War, do you think there is a possibility that LeBron could sign with, you know, they have to do some massive, you know, cutting down of their yeah. players, but they can afford to sign LeBron next year if this doesn't work for Cleveland and Houston. What are, you know, what do you think are the possibility of that happening? Oh, LeBron is not going to Houston. He's either going to Philly or Lakers. No Lakers? Oh, I, like, I like the Philly one. I yeah? like, I don't what about you? Do you think he'll call, you know, Philly or Lakers? He'll, What's your... he'll either stay Philly or Lakers. Oh, he's not okay. going to Rockets. Rockets oh. have to give up a lot of stuff. Yeah, Rockets have a good thing. But he's going to have so much help when he goes to the Rockets. Think about it. He's going to be, you know, technically he'll have Harden and Chris Paul running the show, and he's going to have to just... I don't think uh, war the Cleveland's uh, GM will like that. How many? Um, they're probably going to trade a bunch of bench players for LeBron, first-round picks. But that's what happened in, the U in Miami Heat. They had the big three, and then just have a bunch of role players. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know why LeBron split it from them. LeBron's LeBron. I don't know. The yeah. thing is with LeBron, he keeps everyone waiting. It's true. Right? So you really don't really know. He <laughs> might just go to a random, random team and exactly. just make them go to the finals again because yeah. LeBron is that LeBron. Good. <laughs> well, speaking of the guy that was waiting for his turn, mm. our last thing I want to talk about, I know uh, he hasn't been getting a lot of love because he's playing on a small market team, Indiana. What do you think are Victor Oladipo's chances of making the All-Star? Because right now he's playing mm -hmm. a lot better than the person that they traded him for. Yeah, and he's he's carrying Indiana right now in the play. He's during the playoff spot. What do you think are his chances of making the All Star team? He's making a lot of noise. If someone like that can stop a 13 win streak, like the King on the King, like that's a statement. Exactly. And I feel like, well, Paul George and the OKC are not playing really well. Like their experiment over there in OKC is not working out. But Victor Oladipo can play. He's having a great year, and I think he deserves it. I don't know if he can keep it up. Do you watch Victor Oladipo a lot, or do you know? Not too much. When mm. the Raptors play him, yeah, maybe. He's, mm. he's good. I, I don't know if he has a chance. I don't know yet. I, I need, I need too, to see. Yeah. I, I think I have to see it. I have to see him play. I haven't seen him play yet. Right now, he's averaging actually the third uh, amongst all guards in points. But who, do you think he, uh, is he one of the best two guards in the, uh, in the East, Eastern Conference? That's what I want to know about you guys. Who do you guys think is the, be is the best shooting guard right now in the Eastern Conference? Eastern... Demar, 
Uh, Demar, yeah, Demar. You got a bunch of players in there. Demar's one of them. Bradley Beal's in there. Oh yeah, Bradley. Uh, I know Dwayne Wade is out of his uh, prime Dwayne right Wade's now, but who else do you have? Victor Oladipo, right? So you got Demar, Bradley Beal, and and uh, Oladipo. I haven't, you know, I, I can't think of anyone else. I have to go with my hometown guy, mm -hmm. Demar. I have to go with so Demar. So you think Demar's still the better? Uh, yeah, I think Demar's gonna make well, easily. Demar's gonna go to go to the All Star game. All Star anyway. game? Yeah, I'm not biased either. Yeah. Demar. <laughs> But Demar, but Demar's loyal. <laughs> yeah, Demar, <laughs> I'm just Demar, saying, Demar, Demar deserves it. Like. But he's but, been like, you know, uh, he's been that good too. Oladipo, it's just that teams are just bouncing around him. They just never give him a chance. He was okay in Ola, Orlando. Orlando, he yeah. was playing okay, but then he played under the shadow of uh, Russell right, he did not last year when he was just going crazy with mm -hmm. triple doubles. And now he has his own team and he has his own franchise. Right? Like Paul George said, don't compare me to Victoria Oladipo. It's his yeah. time to run the show. Exactly. It's his, it's his franchise It's now. his franchise now, So right? let's see how he does. It's just still a long, long season too. So. Exactly. So, all well, right. that's all we have for what's up in the NBA. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Zach, for coming. Thank all this you, you know, insights and your story and your, you know, uh, just talking about your game, it inspires us because we want little, you know, we want kids to, you know, be passionate about basketball mm -hmm. to continue to improve and to make it really to the NBA, that's what we want to see. We want to see, you know, Filipino, Canadian kids playing basketball at a higher level. That's mm. what we want to but see. I also want to work, you make me want to work on my game because I feel like you're going to be better than me. I don't <laughs> in just be, a few years. Yeah, in a few years, <laughs> I want to keep it up. Since we're ending the show, anything you'd like to say, um, any shout outs, you can look at that camera, yeah, shout outs. Yeah, I like to shout out my coach, Chris. Shout out to Lord Skills. Um, shout out my brother. Um, also my dad, my, my mom, they're the one who, uh, Raised me to play basketball, my, my limit. Um, also, shout out to my teammates for uh, being supportive to me. So, yeah, that's it. Awesome. Awesome. I'd like Thank to give guys. a shout out to everyone that's watching our YouTube and all our followings. Make sure you check out his mixtape. We, we reposted it on Instagram and on Facebook. Other than that, guys, stay balling.